Good morning campers, Steph here. I'm the Secret Slob. Today I'm gonna do a totally new video, but it's been much requested for the last three years. I'm gonna get ready for camping. Start to finish, dewinterizing my trailer, cleaning it all out. It's gonna be a beautiful weekend this weekend. I'm so excited to finally spend some time outside. Let's get ready for camping. Okay, so I haven't been in this trailer since last year and we had a really bad mouse problem on our lawn and stuff and so, fingers crossed, there's no mice in here. I don't know what I'll do. This video might be over. <laughs> I clean it out really good in the fall, make sure there's no food, and yeah, do my best to bleach the whole thing out. So hopefully, fingers crossed. Okay, looks okay. Looks good, no mice, everything's pretty much where it was, no funny smells, the fridge is still open, that's a big one. Um, I'm just gonna pull all these cushions out, get them aired out in the sun, I'm gonna vacuum them, and then start cleaning out the trailer. Everything's pulled out of the trailer. I'm just gonna let it kind of air out in the sun, get cleaned up by the sun. The sun is really good for bleaching things out. And now I'm going to just kind of start getting the outside of the trailer ready. So I'm gonna plug it in so that the fridge gets going and make sure everything's kind of working, making sure the lights are all good. It's a bit of a process, but I've done it three years now and I feel like I'm getting pretty good at it. I know you're probably wondering where my husband is. He's at work, so this job is mine. I found my list from last year for getting set up for camping, so it's a long list of things I gotta get done. All right, so now that I've got everything basically cleared out of the trailer, it's open, the windows are open, there's some fresh air coming through. It didn't smell that bad, which is good. I'm gonna go through and give everything a really good clean. So normally I'll just clean with a vinegar water solution or a soapy water solution, but when I clean my trailer, I like to use a disinfectant and just make sure everything's super clean in case there's been any bugs or animals or little mice ugh, in here over the winter. I don't think there has, but it just gives me peace of mind and then it's been really well cleaned for the start of the season. Today I'm gonna to be using my True Earth Disinfecting Multi-Surface Cleaners. They come in a tiny little compostable package like this. They're in there like that. All you have to do is take a strip out, roll it up, and put it into a reusable bottle. So I use these ones. You can just use an empty bottle you have laying around, or I just picked this one up at the dollar store, but the point is you can keep using the same bottle over and over again and just keep adding new strips every time you're empty. I love this product. It kills 99.9% .9 of viruses, molds, bacteria, and fungus, all of which can be a problem in trailers. If you've ever had a trailer, I know you understand. It has a really nice, fresh kind of lemony scent, but it's not too strong. I have a problem with really strong smelling scents. They kind of hurt my nose and I get a headache, which is why it's hard for me to clean with bleach as a disinfectant. So this is a really nice alternative and it's way better for the environment. Thank you so much to True Earth for sponsoring today's video. I love partnering with this company. They're from BC, just like me, and they're super committed to an eco-friendly, zero waste future for our world. So I know I mentioned it before, but the most important thing when you clean out your trailer in the fall to prevent mice and other little critters from getting in there is to take every scrap of food out. I don't know about the stuff that's sealed, but I swear they can smell everything. So make sure your cupboards are totally empty and you've cleaned it out as best you can. So I'm gonna check in this last cupboard. I'm pretty sure I probably took everything out. It's probably my last chance for finding something mouse related. Fingers crossed. Okay, here we go. Ah, yes. Totally clear. Okay, so now that the trailer is all cleaned out, I'm going to do the actual 
dewinterizing, which is taking the antifreeze out of the pipes and then filling it up with fresh water so it's ready to use. This is the hardest part of it for me anyways, but I'm gonna see if I remember how to do it. Okay, so water is set up. I feel like I forget something every year, but it goes a little bit better every year. So this year, I didn't have to refer to the owner's manual, which I usually do, but I did watch a YouTube refresher video just in case I forget anything. So I can link to the video that I watched below. It's super simple. Um, just gives you a kind of a reminder of what to do. And yeah, I guess we can start packing this trailer and getting things ready. Alright, morning of camping, we are ready to go. I'm gonna show you how I pack everything into my trailer. Okay, so over here I keep my kids' clothes. I always pack everything in a laundry basket. That's a hack from my sister. It's just easier to get their stuff. And then our diaper bag, and there's our water jug that'll come out. In the fridge, we have all the stuff that I kind of pre-made, stuff that needs to be kept refrigerated, drinks, milk for babies. <laughs> And then up here is where I keep all of our fruit and our coffee and kind of like salt and pepper, sugar, things like that, things for the morning. And then in here is where I keep all of our kind of utensils, dishwashing soap, all of our dishes. And again, I wash my dishes in this bin. And then I have all of our rags and coffee stuff. And then in here is all of our dry stuff. So buns and chips for snacks and drinks. And this is a bag of corn. And I have a bag of secret snacks at the very back, which is basically chocolate and all the yummy things. So because these beds aren't already made, we make them when we get to the campground. I don't really have a really good place to keep bedding, so I actually just put it in the bathroom <laughs> in bags, and that works really well. And then as soon as we get to the campsite, I can unpack them and set up the bed. So, <laughs> so we do one blanket below, two blankets above, and that keeps everyone warm. Plus we're in a trailer, so if it gets really cold, we can turn the heat on. Are you ready to go? Yeah, I'm ready to go. Okay, we're going to head out. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you found this helpful, and I will talk to you very soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>